All right, Rocco Taco Army, welcome back. And what you are looking at is the T-Rex Miner I've been using for a long time now. Uh, version 025.9 is the latest. And what you are seeing is, yes, I got 60 mega hash on a 3070 Ti LHR turd card. And uh, 3060 Ti's there are different brands as well. And those are LHR cards. And uh, they're, they're chugging along. Uh, 44.5, 45.5, and 60 and power 180 on the uh, 176 on the 3070 Ti and usually around 130, 135 and under for the 3060 Ti. Uh, so not bad. I'm gonna stick with T-Rex Miner for my Nvidia cards. I do have AMD cards, which I use NB Miner and that's a, that's a winner as well. The only thing there is I have to use MSI Afterburner to overclock those puppies. So how did I get here? So I've always been on T-Rex and of course, like anything, I watch YouTube and I read other articles about LOL Miner has a new hash rate improvement on the LHR card. So I went and I waited. They had the Linux version first. I got the Windows one, downloaded that a uh, day and a half ago, started to play with it. And I was just not getting all cards to improve. So I was starting to split them. And uh, oh, here we see the LHR tuning on T-Rex. So it hit 60 and that. I don't know if that's throttling, but the LHR tuned went in on T-Rex and now it's going to recalibrate to 59 mega hash on the 3070 Ti and you'll see it get right back up there. So again, I just started this up uh, T-Rex. That's why you're seeing it kind of re recompute, retune. So anyway, LOL Miner, got it downloaded. I can't set the overclocks in the file. There may be a way to do it. It wasn't in the readme. Uh, I know they have a core lock thing and I just it just wasn't working. I was getting interesting numbers on it. But then this morning I got a memory error and it, it just stopped processing that GPU. I said, I'm done. Uh, I didn't want to have to use MSI Afterburner anyway to set my overclocks. So that may have been the issue. Maybe I'm not doing it right. But there again, there was nothing in the readme's for an idiot like me to figure it out. It shouldn't be that hard. So my hunch is it's a lot easier for Hive OS maybe to use this improved LLL miner. But for me, after diddling with it, trying to find the optimal performance numbers on these cards i just gave up and said the juice isn't worth the squeeze i'm sticking with what i know and what i can handle and i love like this batch file right now is a t-rex file i'm setting my overclocks in the file i can see them hands on i'm in control i'm not not at the mercy of another piece of software to uh, set my overclocks so here we go and i got my 1400s and i've had these for a while and i have the absolute core the lock core clock set just for um, efficiency as well, because you know, with mining profitability dropping, I don't want to be burning lots of wattage. And uh, yeah, so that's where I'm at. I mean, like most of you guys, you watch a lot of YouTube videos and I disseminate it. I'll digest what people say. I'll say, all right, let me go try this damn LOL miner thing. I'm sure it works, like I said, perfectly in Hive OS and you get a little more juice from your, uh, your uh, LHR cards. If for me, Windows, it just wasn't cutting it. And I'd like to do batch files. As a software dude, I want control over what I do. And it just wasn't working. I just wasn't comfortable with it. It just wasn't getting a lock in. And after a while, you say, I'm done. I'm going back to what I know. And that's where I'm at now. You can see it going up to 59 on the 30, 70, 40, almost 45 and a half, 46 on the uh, T-Rex. And I had those numbers. I had 58, 59 before I even started this. Now, so maybe over time, T-Rex will tune it back in where I'm at 46 on the 30, 60s and go from there. That's where I'm at. Thanks for watching. Just want to give an update. I'll talk to y'all later, man. I'm out. Bye.